Hey YouTube, welcome to another speed paint vlog by ST Linthoria. Welcome to the show. Hey guys. So um earlier earlier this week I went and saw the most recent Fantastic Beasts. And I need to get some stuff off my chest. Let me start off though by saying that this is not a spoiler type of uh, vlog. Just because like anytime that I do a fan vlog like a fan vlog, like a fan rants type of vlog where I'm going to be having spoilers in it, you're going to know because it's going to come with some fan art for that particular one. So this is not necessarily about Fantastic Beasts itself, although I have several issues with Fantastic Beasts itself. No, this is about JK Rowling being on some next level bull like to start with there's the fact that she is like obviously i'm not okay with the fact that she is a turf or at least turf supporting in the first place in there that makes no sense just because she can she's like honestly I think she let the fame go to her head and she's just like chasing the next big thing as a result. And what she's latching on to is literally all of the worst things. My current theory is that she's been as bereft as the fandom has since the end of since Deathly Hollows released, okay? And has been freaking devouring Harry Potter fanfics, which fanfics, which are is fine because Harry Potter fanfics are freaking amazing. Okay, I have survived off of those for the last like decade. All right, that is totally cool. What is not cool is her trying to take these these canon i these fanon sorry ideas and these head canons and put them into her work and make them canon even when they don't make any sense whatsoever like for instance the cursed child that entire thing makes no friggin sense okay like i haven't i haven't actually read the play right i haven't seen the play to be fair i have heard that the play is very good but the synopsis, the breakdown of events that I've read online reads as a fan fiction. And it's not. It's meant to be canon. But it makes no sense. It doesn't work. It just does not work. For several reasons. Least of all being the fact that there are too many points within Deathly Hollows where we see Bellatrix Lestrange and she is not described as visually pregnant and yet we are meant to believe that she was pregnant during Deathly Hollows at the very earliest. Possibly, you know, Half-Blood Prince, but again, we we see mentions of her too often for that to be the case as well it's just dumb it's just, it's pure madness honestly to believe that that Bellatrix Lestrange ended up pregnant at some point between Half Blood Prince and the Deathly Hollows and it was somehow kept secret, yet she was still active enough that they could get into, that they could conceivably get into Gringotts? That's dumb. That's so dumb. But you know what? You know what? That's the least of her offenses. I can go ahead and, you know, Right that way, I can go ahead and ignore that. I can force it into things, you know, force it into things all together. But then she continues doing this, this bullshit of like messing up her own timelines and like adding in details that are just plain stupid. 
and don't add to anything. Like the mo- like the more recent announcement that she made that hey, uh, Harry Potter in Harry Potter Land in the Wizarding World, uh, magic can fix any can conceivably fix any mundane thing. Just full full on. And uh, that's that's just the way that it is. That's stupid. That goes back on what we actually see of the Wizarding World, because there are several, several indications that plenty of mundane things can't be fixed with the spells. Case in point, Harry Potter's freaking eyes. And okay, okay, to be fair, you could possibly argue that his eyes may have been damaged by the Avada Kedavra curse, but then what about his dad? Like, no one shot an Avada Kedavra curse at his dad. There are plenty of other glasses-wearing characters in this franchise. So, like, what's up with that? What is up with that? Like, maybe I could I could accept it if at any point during the books there was, like, a slight mention of, oh, hey, by the way, there's this optometrist that you could see if you wanted to, but, the, but you have to be a certain age, and, oh, by the way, after you get older... The magic can affect your eyes in a negative way. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll accept that. But no, that's not what she did. She just said, oh, any mundane thing could conceivably be fixed by magic. That's that's a cop-out, frankly. That is a cop-out. Like, at this point, the fans have fleshed out the way that magic works way more than she has. And it is sad. And I just want her to stop trying to to just seesaw between taking the worst fanon ideas and making them canon and creating original stuff on top of things that just frankly is worse than fanons. Like seriously. Like, I just, it's terrible. It's terrible, it's terrible. And at this point, at this point, I seriously, anything that she makes canon, I seriously am going to take as a great assault, as a great, as a great assault, because she is just, she has no sense of continuity, and it's just ridiculous, and at this point she's just pandering, that's all that she's doing, she's pandering in the worst possible ways, and I'm sick of it, it honestly makes me glad that I never actually got around, because I, I did join Parker Moore for free, but I never got around to actually paying for the exclusive access stuff. And I'm glad that I didn't now. Because it sounds like she's full on bullshit. Ah. Honestly. So yeah, basically like, J.K. Rowling, I love your reward, your original Harry Potter series works. I think it's great. I am a huge fan. And I love fan and ideas. But I love fanon ideas because they're fanon, okay? Because I can say, oh, well, this contradicts canon, but, you know, it's an alternate universe fanon, so whatever. But I can't stand your canon stuff, okay? I cannot. Not when you're so clearly influenced by fanon things that it's ridiculous. Like, just stop, please, just stop. Rant over. So this one is actually a redraw of something I did um, a couple of years ago in a vector program that I had for a while. And uh, it was something that I created because I've always been interested in creating my own kind of designs and put in, like a shirt shop, which I still kind of want to do, you know what I mean? and have it connected to this particular channel and everything. Um, but I couldn't remember where I even put that thing. I didn't, I obviously didn't create a video of me drawing that, so I figured I would just redo it. And after, I didn't, I redid it without actually looking at the source. And after I went back and looked at it, I was like, okay, well, I'm really glad that I decided to do this because I don't really even like that anymore, honestly. <laughs> Um, I'll put uh, the original that uh, the original that I did in my 
art tumbler for you guys to see. But uh, yeah, you guys have an awesome day.